Welcome to the Command Home App Tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Command Home App to monitor your QCell's energy system. First, download the Command Home App from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store on your mobile device by typing Command Home in the search bar. Make sure to download the Home version and not the Pro version. After commissioning is complete, first-time users click the No Account, Create One button to register a new account. On the account creation page, enter the email address you want to use and click Next. An eight-digit account verification code will be sent to the entered email address with the subject line, Your Command Home Account Verification Code. Enter this code and click Next. On the next page, fill in your name, phone number, site ID, and six-digit activation code. The site ID and six-digit activation code can be found in the welcome email sent to you during the commissioning process. Look for an email with the subject line, Welcome to your new solar journey with QCells. Once you have filled in all of this information, click Next. If you already have an account, simply log in using your registered email address and password. Please note that once all the steps are completed and you have logged in on your device, you will remain logged in and not prompted to re-enter your password unless the device changes. Now that you're logged in, you'll see the main dashboard. On the top left, you'll find the current weather and your internet connection status, like Wi-Fi, cellular, or LAN. On the top right, you can tap the notification icon to view alerts and reminders from QCells. Below, you can view the current power your solar system is producing. You'll also see a house diagram showing how energy is flowing through your system in real time. The system has three main operation modes. Auto. The system is active and automatically managing energy flow. Limit export. The system is active and energy sent to the grid is limited to a certain threshold. Standby. The system is inactive. This mode is often used while waiting for the utility to provide permission to operate or PTO. Please note that these settings must be changed by your installer. Scroll down to view your total power production, which updates in real time. Tap the arrow to see a graph of your hourly production. Next to this is your clean energy score, which compares today's energy to previous days and shows the environmental impact of your system. You can also swipe left to view different system components. The list starts with energy storage system, but only if you have one installed. Energy storage. This shows the battery charge level and power flow of your battery system, whether it is charging or discharging. AC module shows current solar output. My Home CT shows how much energy your home is using. Home Appliance will show the energy used by individual appliances if connected. You can tap on any component of your system to be taken to a detailed view in the Products menu, which we'll explain later in the video. In the Products tab, you can explore more details about your system. Energy Management lets installers adjust the operation mode of your system. Energy Storage only appears when a compatible battery is connected and monitors battery status, such as state of charge, number of installed batteries, backup settings, and other product information. AC module lets you see each panel's performance in roof or system view. AC combiner can check microinverter and combiner box info on this screen. Hub lets you view battery and generator details. Home appliance shows the energy use of individual appliances if connected. In this energy tab, you can explore your system's energy production and consumption. You can view the chart's time view to show day, month, year, or lifetime. Depending on your system's status, different data options will appear. Solar only system shows only power produced. Solar plus CT system adds power consumed, imported, and exported. Solar plus CT plus ESS system includes battery charge and discharge data. Tap each category to highlight and view it on the graph. Smart Things and Energy Report. If you scroll down on this page, you can track the energy use of Samsung appliances you've connected via the Smart Things app by Samsung. This data can also be displayed in time spans of day, month, year, and lifetime. At the bottom of the page, you can also download your annual energy report as a PDF or Excel file. In my page, you can see your system name and email address. In account settings, you can view your site ID, app ID, name, email, and phone. In app settings, 
you can change app preferences like language, either English or Spanish, and display mode with options for light, dark, or auto. In installation settings, you can view general information like installer info and a map of the installed site. In Wi-Fi settings, you can update the Wi-Fi settings of your system by following on-screen instructions. Find answers in the FAQ section, which QCells will continuously update to provide quick and easy solutions to your questions. Finally, you could submit an inquiry to QCell support for any assistance with the app, products, and whatever other general inquiry you might have. Thanks for watching this Command Home app tutorial. If you have any questions, contact QCells by phone or email. We are here to help.